So what's your moon phase? Do you know? Me, I'm a waning crescent, born right before a new moon, and I've always felt somewhat detached from this reality, and more connected to the other one out there. Your moon phase indicates part of your soul path, as described in Stephen Forrest's classic Book of the Moon. Find out yours and how it can help guide you on your soul path. Pick up the audiobook now on Audible with no subscription necessary or Apple Books. Welcome to a very eventful day in the sky on the Fun Astrology Podcast. Hi, everybody. It's July 2nd. Thomas Miller here. We're going to go through this in chronological order, and you're going to have to strap on your thinking caps to keep up with this one because there's just a lot going on today. I'll be as descriptive as possible, but mostly we're going to focus on Neptune and what the Neptune retrograde looking forward means But what happens today in chronological order is Neptune goes retrograde. That's at 640 this morning, Eastern. Then Mercury, right at the tail end of Cancer, enters Leo at 850 this morning. Then the moon changes signs. All of this complete before noon Eastern. Just before noon, the moon moves into Gemini, 1150 a.m. So this is a morning deal. Whether you're on the East Coast, it will be done by lunch. And if you're on the West Coast, it will be done by the time you have your parfait. Now, like I said, I want to spend most of the time here on Neptune because this sets us up for a lot of other bigger picture stuff that's going to be happening over the next two years. Ray Merriman had a whole section on this in the 2024 forecast book. If you happened to get that and wanted to go back and buff up on this, It was all about the fact that Neptune and Saturn are basically going to hook up and do a planetary dance between Pisces and Aries. Now, neither of them will cross into Aries until basically March and then May of next year. But between next spring and January of 2026... There's going to be this planetary dance between Neptune and Saturn crossing between Aries and Pisces, Pisces and Aries. The retrograde dance, and it's very similar in degree and structure to the dance that Pluto is doing, moving into Aquarius, back into Capricorn, back into Aquarius. Same thing is going to be happening with Neptune and Saturn. And then, kind of coupled with all of this, when you think of Pluto, Saturn, Neptune, and then eventually Uranus and Jupiter will all change signs, Ray says that according to his database, never have all five changed signs in such a tight period of time. That is going to shift some energy. And in a way, this retrograde, although Aries is not involved yet, sets the stage for the launch of this dance. This 2023 version of Neptune retrograde will go from 640 this morning Eastern all the way until December 7th. It begins with Neptune at 29 degrees, 56 minutes, almost there. And when it ends in December, Neptune will be back to 27 degrees, 7 minutes. Now, here's where this is interesting, because we know the prototypes of Neptune, right? Dreams. Illusion, delusion, spirituality, the home office connection, intuition, mysticism, everything that is ethereal, including escapism through drugs and alcohol and other means. So there's this paradox of incredible clarity that can come from intuition and this incredible mud pie that can come from all the escapism. Now, one of the things that we can do during this Neptune retrograde that will make it incredibly positive, and this is why we focus on being on the highest timeline, is that in the reword scenario of Neptune retrograde, we can reevaluate our entire spiritual path. It's an excellent time to go within spiritual reevaluation, spiritual growth. And if you're an A-team player on this, you your desires and your quests for knowledge, information, connection, everything, for development, for just going to the higher level is going to be huge between now and December. The time to begin is today. Another thing that is very Neptunian are things like the film business, creativity from the ethereal, right? The dreamy, the make-believe perspective, movie magic. 
So everything about our dreams and our inspiration, and yet also during this time to develop writing projects. I'm currently working on two books. Perfect for this. And the second book was inspired by something that happened a couple of weeks ago that I will mention because this is the one to keep your eye on for the collective, for the macro, for those not dialed in to a spiritual path. A couple of weeks ago, a pastor of a huge megachurch in the Dallas-Fort Worth area was exposed for something that he had done in 1982. There's a big story around it. I'll let you search up the details. I'm not going to go into them here. He had addressed it publicly back then, but not fully. There was a slight, oh, by the way, that he omitted back in the 1980s when he was first busted for this. Back then, he told the church and the elders that it was a consensual thing between a him and a young lady. What he didn't define was young. What happened a couple of weeks ago, and remember, Saturn turned retrograde as well, Saturn, Lord Karma, and Neptune of lies and deception, both turning retrograde within days of each other. The lady who had been violated back in 1982, who has lived with this her entire life, after multiple documented attempts to try to resolve this the way it was, not the way it was presented, but none of those efforts took track. They were all covered up still, but within two weeks of this period right here, with Saturn turning retrograde last Saturday, Neptune turning retrograde today, a blogger a couple of weeks ago ran her story, and it caught this time, and it went big. The pastor resigned. There were two or three other pastors within days of that incident that also were exposed for the same thing, and the woman who was involved in this incident encouraged others to come forward because she said she couldn't believe that this was isolated. That's the other side of Neptune in retrograde. Remember, planets that are stationing to either go into retrograde or come out of retrograde are stronger during the weeks, and especially with a slow-moving planet like Neptune, very powerful in the days and weeks before they turn retrograde. And after 40-some years of trying to get this exposed and dealt with properly, finally, now, under this energy, her story was heard. So something to keep in mind is, between now and December, you or in your family or in your circle of friends, something like this may also occur. Truth comes to light, basically. It would be a really good time to examine this in our own lives. I had a situation when I was in Colorado wrapping up the Aspen years that somebody sent me an email. I had been on the shadow side of Neptune in that situation, and I took exactly what she said greatly to heart, made a very conscious choice at that time to just always, regardless, doesn't matter, speak the truth and let the chips fall. My surrender at that point was that I would rather speak the truth as it is to me, and how anybody else reacts around that, I'm not going to worry about. It was a paradigm shift, and understanding my chart in this very aspect, when you have the Sun and Neptune glued together in the same degree, mystical can go both ways. My choice at that point was from thenceforth, it would only go one way. That has been as freeing as things like stopping alcohol and consistently and always without question following intuition. It ranks up there in the big three. That would definitely be it. Wow. Well, that's going to be ahead of us. It's going to be an interesting summer. I hope this helps understand the bigger picture of what's going on here with this and Saturn's retrograde together. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Ponder on these things. Take them deeply to heart. This is soul growth stuff, high timeline stuff, if we so choose. Love you guys. Have a great day. Back tomorrow. Bye-bye.